Greg Tepper, Dave Campbell's Texas Football and TexasFootball.com here at the THSCA Coaching School and Convention, joined by a good buddy from way out east. Way out east. <laughs> the head coach of the Pleasant Grove Hawks is Coach Josh Kipson. Coach, it's good to see you. It's, it's Monday. My voice is going. We were talking about this. I like Because I know you're a fiery guy on the sidelines, and yet I never hear you with a froggy voice. <laughs> like, I just, I, 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 there's a lot of things I admire about Texas high school coaches. I think the ability to not lose your voice is maybe number one. Yeah. I told uh, you guys are having a shout in here in this convention center because it's so loud, but it's like a muscle. The more you use it, it it's going to. It's going to last a little bit longer, and y'all don't have to do that usually in your oh, in your quarters. I thought you were suggesting that we need to talk more. I was, I was like, <laughs> no, oh, no. Buddy, they, that, ain't no. A, that ain't a problem. Let's talk about these Hawks. I'm, I made the point the entirety of your playoff run last year because you guys are out there with second graders, basically. You're so young. <laughs> and you guys make that playoff run, and I'm going, man, you guys are messing up. You guys are... You guys are letting them get this big game experience, and you're letting them win big games and know what that's like. Y'all are going to pay for that. Was that the same feeling as you guys were going through that playoff experience that, that all, like, yeah, this is great to win right now, but this could really pay dividends in the future? Yeah, and, you know, we kind of, the whole foreshadowing part, we started preaching that back in the spring at our parents' meetings just to lay the foundation of, you know, the, the beginning of our schedule is going to be tough. We had Argyle, Carthage, Paris. Um, there's others in there, uh, Silsby, um, and we, we knew we could start off rough like we did in 16. We started one and six and then won, I think, six games in a row and ended up barely losing to Salina, and they were ranked fourth in state. And so we thought that could be the type of season we had, and it, and it was. It was exactly that. We started off one and four and kind of – we'd been talking about it since March, then June, July, August, then when we're going through the rut and, like, we're going to get better and better and better. Every game y'all play, you're going to start playing like juniors at the end of the year, all these sophomores that we started. And uh, and they did, and the confidence and belief grew and grew and grew and um, just couldn't have been more thrilled with how, A, we turned around that season and stayed steadfast in it, and then the results and playing through the fourth round on a on a down year with pups is yeah. pretty is pretty cool thing. So just a big testament to even our seniors that that led through that whole um, tough period and and then just had a great season. So then, you know, obviously, all, the only thing that matters is to make sure that that translates to to the next year. Have you seen during this off season? Have you seen the growth that you wanted from those pups? Because you know, you know what the quality improvement looks like mm-hmm. are you seeing that in this offseason yeah really are and and i think just challenging different ways to grow relationally together because i think that's a huge deal in high school ball um uh, the relational part and then um on the field just schematically how smart we're playing how tough we're playing how hard we're playing the fast the faster we play usually that's gonna coincide with how much smarter and comfortable they feel and you can see um just their belief and confidence growing throughout this summer so we're, we're looking for big things. It's going to be it's going to be another gauntlet at the beginning, and then the playoffs are going to be that way too with um, with some really good teams in our region. Yeah, the UIL didn't do you any favors. I don't know. I don't know. We can find <laughs> they're around here somewhere. We can tell them if you want. Um, do you get the feeling because we were talking on the way over here? This this team, you know, a lot a lot of your star players, not all, but a lot of them are still only going to be juniors this mm-hmm. upcoming year. Um, But at the same time, you go back to that first title team for you guys. Kind of similar way. Even some of those guys, I think Ben Harmon was a sophomore maybe on that on that that first title team. Um, Is is it fair to say that like last year it would have been a surprise for you guys to make it all the way to a state championship game, but this year maybe it's like, oh, we've kind of done it before, you know? Yeah, I think I think the belief in our kids is there, and I think that's key, you know, that they really feel like we should step out on the field, and, and that's what the ultimate goal is. You know, do we end up doing it? I don't know. Yeah. And, and, and that's why we're about to go through this season. Um, and, and like I said, we've got some teams in our region and in the state that would say otherwise too, you know, because they have the same belief. But I think that's the biggest thing is that they, they know and understand that. And last year probably would have been a little bit more hope mode. And when you're in that mode, it's usually not going to happen. Yeah. So then, you know, it's, it's funny because I think people, people see your team – and I think a credit to your consistency, I think that they look at them like, oh, well, it's just this is another Pleasant Grove team. They're all, they're all kind of different shades of the same type of team. 
Do you have a feeling quite yet about what's going to set this team apart, what's going to make this team different? Yeah, I think using the versatility of our athleticism, you know, I think we're going to look different offensively and, and do a lot more things that we haven't done in the past just because of some of the players we have. But the, the, the formula to win is always going to be the same, you know, playing fast, playing tough playing with a ton of belief, um, our team being extremely relational. I think all of those things are going to come out, and, and that's truly what Pleasant Grove football is. But it'll look different schematically some, I believe. Okay, and finally, um, you know, one, one of the remarkable things about your program is just, just the, the, the growth that we've seen in this program, you know, really since you and your staff have arrived. Um, is, do you, are there times where you step back and you think back to, like, the first day you walked onto campus there at Pleasant Grove, and you're like, because in a lot of ways, in some ways, it's unrecognizable, you know, what the, what you guys have built, you know, there at, at PG. Do you ever step back and go, man, look at how far we've come? Well, yeah, there's a lot of gratitude, and I think when you stop focusing on that, um, th there's going to be some big issues that creep in, and so we're just blessed that, you know, we have unbelievable men that, that have left us and then that we've been able to replace them with that come in that are kid-centered, that are really selfless and um, really want to be purpose-driven men and do great things. And so I think that's where it starts. And then just our kids and community, the, the type of kiddo that we get to coach loves to play football, doesn't want to go home. I mean, 12 months a year, wants to live up at that indoor. And, and that's pretty special. And I think it – I think it does. I think it makes it one of the greatest places in the state of Texas to coach. And, um, you know, I'm just so thankful that God took a young, dumb coach and put him there. And, and I had some good energy, but had a lot of things that we needed to figure out and um, had a lot of people that helped us do that. And so just great administration and community and coaches and kids. Because I remember when Pleasant Grove was just a baseball school. Yeah. You know, you guys see now it's like kind of an everything school yeah you know? yeah we're getting there and uh and and that's that's the cool thing is that all of our athletic you know programs and coaches kind of we believe in the same core values and try to get that consistent you know and sharing athletes is huge and and especially at a 4a school and so just the buy-in that we get from from everyone's pretty special coach congratulations on your success appreciate you. you thank you